I lost in the sauce. Don't get me started. You gonna let 15 out of 10. No, oh my God. Oh my God, this smells Ooh. so good. You smell well, it? let me smell the corn. Oh, here? This right here? She, she's saying. You, you can just say, girl. This Welcome back to my channel, it's Adrienne. So today is gonna be another weekly vlog. Today is actually Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. So um, I started this kind of late, but hey, it's better, you know, better, what did you say? Better late to the party than never, right? So hey, let's get that party started. Okay, let me stop. Let's do an unboxing of some items that I got. The girls are taking their bath. Micah's in here cooking some homemade french fries and he stuffed some chicken wings, y'all. Like, let me not say stuffed. He injected some chicken wings and so I'm gonna see how they taste tonight. I'm kinda excited. But I got some packages, so we're gonna do some unboxing. The first package we're gonna unbox is Dossier. Dossier is no stranger to this channel. You guys know I have talked about it on my shorts. They have the best smelling perfumes at a much cheaper price than the luxury items. So when they reached out to me, I was so excited to actually work with them. So I'm so excited. I want to do an unboxing. This is this is a scent that I have never smelled before. So let's see how it smells. I have two scents to try. This is actually their original line. This, this is not inspired by any by anything. This is their own line and it's called Caramelized Lavender and Hazelnut. So I was like, ooh, that's fancy. Here's the packaging of it. It comes individually, nicely packaged. Even though I got two, they could have easily just stuck it inside here, but they have their own package. This is a this is a genderless collection so that means me or honey bunches of oats over there can either can wear it babe come smell it with me about this perfume caramelized lavender and hazelnut takes a lav takes lavender a staple in men's fragrance fragrances and reimagines it with a salted caramelized hazelnut accord Hmm. Top notes is salted caramel, hazelnut, accord. Middle notes is lavender, violet, orange flower. Base notes is babe, how you say this? Patchouli? How you say that? Patchouli? 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 Betta beer, suede. I don't know how to say this, y'all. How are you gonna ask me to say I don't that? know, but whatever this is, that's that's the notes there. So we're gonna do a smell, a blind smell. But I have no idea how to smell. I'm assuming it smells sweet because it has caramel in it. Caramelized lavender, not car not caramel. Caramelized lavender. So this is a gender list, so it means I can smell it, I can wear it, or you can wear it. This can be our- You be getting them house scent. Uni, uh, uni, unisex perfume. So let's, let's do a little, okay. Let's see, I'm gonna let you go first. Hmm. I, smells like a, I think it smells like a man. Yeah, it does. This is definitely a man's scent. Ah, uh, hold on. It can go both hold ways. Hold on, hold on. Why don't you put it on you? As it dries down, it turns feminine. The first smell of it smells masculine. Yes. I can see why it's a genderless scent. Just put it on your nose. I know. I think it smells good though. Now that it's dried down, I smell, I smell, I like it. These scents smell good, but they remind me of like house scents. You think it's like a house? Like Never the, the lavender. Do you know how lavender scents in a house? What? Just put it on your nose. You didn't put it on your nose like four times. Not in your nose, always you keep rubbing the car. I know, I like it. What, what would you rate it, a one out of 10? Oh, babe, look, girl, wait. It's, it's magnetized. Yeah, it's fancy. The packaging of what it, it looks eight. like close up. I give it an eight. Honey rates it an eight out of a ten. Okay, so this one I'm really excited about because this was inspired by Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. And this is called Ambery Cherry. So <laughs> packaging. Okay, packaging. Okay, packaging. We kind of got a little lost in there, but got lost in the sauce. Don't get me started. This one of the top notes is cherry, almond, and cinnamon. Middle notes is cloves, rose, jasmine, and plum. And the base note is, I can't say it. I know I can, I can say tonka bean, but I can't say what, the, what that is. 
but that's the base notes of it. So let's do another smell test. Oof. Oh, I got sprayed it on me instead of the paper. Fifteen out of ten. Fifteen out of ten. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. This smells Ooh. so good. You smell well, let it? me smell the corn. Oh my god. Here you smell like that. You get a whiff. Ow. I see the dog go corn. That smells good. You keeping it, right? Yes. Of course I'm keeping it. He knows I return stuff if I don't like it. But this, this, she's this a right keeper. Here. This right here. This, this right here. here. This right here. She, she's staying. You, you can just stay, girl. This, oh my gosh, this smells so good, y'all. Like I'm not even exaggerating. This, oh my god, I smell the cherry in it, like, but it's not overpowering. Oh, I. You need this one, Ambery cherry. You need this one. I'm telling you guys. I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. I can't say that it's sweet. But it's still a little warm. I smell like the musk. Maybe is there musk in it? I don't know. Maybe it's the tonka bean I'm smelling. I don't know. But of course the top note says cherry. I smell the cherry, but it's not overpowering. Oh, and there's vanilla. Y'all know I love vanilla. I love anything vanilla. Y'all, it smells so good. Cherry, almond, cinnamon. But you know, all those sweet smells, it's still not overpowering. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. This is a yes. Let's move on, shall we? Let's go on to the next unboxing. This is an Amazon package for me, which is, oh, <laughs> this is this is nothing important. I ordered the girls some socks because they can't seem to ever keep their socks in two places. It's always like one sock here, one sock there, and then we're mixed match socks. So Mike has been on me about ordering some socks. So I got some gray, black, and white. So, they got that. I have another package too. I got one more package. Hold on. Can you guess where it's from? Can you just guess where it's from? Oh, like I can still smell this. Babe, like seriously, that stuff smells so good. Oh my gosh. Oh, of course. It's a clothes. This is going to be for my spring get ready with me. It's a dress. I'm going to show you guys. I want to do a get ready with me for a spring look. And I thought this dress was so perfect for spring. And it has a split on one side. Yeah, a split here. So, and I love the color. It's just like screaming spring, summerish. So, I'm trying to plan our vacation of where we're gonna go. We still don't know yet. I'm leaning towards Panama City, but I'm trying to get all my family on board with it. Um, but I don't know. It's kind of up in the air. Mike is, are you gonna are you gonna sauce them too? I thought we eating them plain. You can eat plain, not just that sauce. It's my wings. Oh, okay. Cause he got garlic parmesan and hot sauce as well for the wings. But to me, I feel like since he stuffed them, you could just eat them plain. But I'm, I'm a stuffed. lemon pepper type of girl. I got lemon pepper. I like I lemon pepper. It. Lemon pepper. He's the garlic parmesan. And girls, are y'all choking in the bathtubs? Yeah. Are y'all choking in the bathtub? Okay, come on, get out and dry yourself. You're in the bathtub. Yeah. And I am about to go ahead and take my shower, wash this off my face. I washed my hair yesterday, y'all. Uh-uh, Sunday. And it's giving very dry. As you can see, it's giving really dry. So I'm going to, um, that's not a hair flick. I'm going to um, probably rewash it. We got church tomorrow, so I can't rewash it tomorrow. Um, which means it'll probably be Thursday, but it's supposed to be really cold. Like it's Alexa, what's the weather outside? So excited to have one. 57 degrees right now. Akaya has her first home track meet Friday and it's going to be lows of 43. Um, she has a first track meet Friday. It's going to be 50 degrees. So I'm really trying not to play what I'm going to do with the girls. I know Michael will be there, but um, I wanted to watch to see her run, but um, 50 degrees in track meet, <sighs> so cold. So I don't know, I'm trying to navigate that. This weather is so like bipolar, hot. It's gonna be 77 degrees Thursday and 50 on Friday. A cold front is coming in, a really big one, obviously. So 
All right, I'm gonna stop rambling, take my shower, wash this makeup off my face, and get ready to go to bed. I wanna go to bed early tonight. This time change is whipping my butt. Thankfully, it's oh man, I still, y'all, I'm still getting whiffs of this stuff. Like, okay, okay, I gotta go. Good morning, you guys. Uh, it's Thursday. Happy Thursday. Um, I am not vlogging on my like shorts and reels and TikToks today. So y'all know typically when I don't vlog there, I pick up my camera and vlog here. I get a long, a lot more time to talk. Hence why I started rambling. But I am about to do my morning routine. And um, my first thing I do is take my medicine in the morning. I take a little bitty small pill, which is like this small. Um, it's for my thyroid. I think my thyroid was low or high. It was either or. And so I take this now daily to kind of help level out those, level that out. I have a friend here that I just took um, my blemish mark off. I have another one on this side. But this is what I use for my pimples that come. I think I'm breaking out because I shaved my face the other day. And sometimes that makes me break out. So I had a pimple on this side or on this side. I, I was thinking that maybe with my pillowcase, because sometimes, you know, I use oils in my hair and it seeps through maybe on my face, but I'm thinking that's what it is because I had a whole bunch of little ones here too and I shave. And because of my testosterone pellet that you guys know I have in my hip, my chin hairs grow a little bit faster than what I like. So I either shave them or I pluck them out. Um, before I got on this, I used to get like maybe one or two um, here. And I could feel it because it would be like a, a coarser hair and I would just either pluck it and I'd be gone, you know, about my day. But I do notice that I have more chin hairs um, than normal. And I also take collagen every morning now and that helps my hair growth, nails, skin, all that stuff. So I think it's a mixture of everything. This is why I grow so fast here, which is why I shave. I usually try to shave once every other week, but somebody in my comments said I need to start waxing. I'm gonna pray about that because <laughs> waxing my face, I don't know about that. Of course, y'all know I do my underarms and I love it now because I will not go back to shaving my underarms and I do it maybe once every, uh, like I'm almost two months without shaving, I'm without waxing. Probably shorter for the summertime because I'll be, you know, wearing sh uh, sleeveless shirts, but in the wintertime, I have gone almost two months without waxing and it's not too bad. But I'm taking my medicine. Y'all know I take my greens every morning. These are the ones that I take, the only ones I take. I tried the Bloom and I worked myself up to liking them. And then I got these for Black Friday. And I never looked back because these taste good. The others I have to like. My first initial was like, oh, uh-uh. And then I was like, oh, okay, it's not too bad. I was taking it because I wanted the, the benefits of it, but the taste wasn't good. This tastes good. It tastes like peaches, but I only put them in cold water. I would not recommend them in warm water. I did that one time with alkaline water. I didn't like it. Um, cold water tastes so much better. But I take that and I mix it up. I froth it. You could use like a blender bottle if you wanted to or um, you could use a blender bottle. I don't know any other way to mix it. I just don't want any clumps in it. That's why I use the, the frother to get, make sure it gets there. So I'm going to swallow this real quick and get on about my day. Ah, drop my pill. Take two. And just like that, I'm done. I do my happy green dance. Ah. And it's just literally one scoop a day. So I take this once a day. And I saw a difference after taking them consistently. I didn't see a difference like the first day. So don't expect those type of results the first day. Be like, oh, my stomach is flat, I'm bloating. No, you don't hurt that. Consistency is key. Speaking of consistency, that's how I feel like I'm growing on my social because I'm being consistent. I've been doing this for... I think seven years now and I would always start and stop YouTube start and stop YouTube and then I was like oh, my views wouldn't get over 50 to maybe a hundred views and I felt like all my hair content content would do good but it would max out at maybe 300 views and honestly YouTube is a lot of work YouTube stresses me out because it's so much editing but of course I feel like the more I do it the better I get at it but I feel like when I, when I mastered the shorts and the reels, those are so much easier to do. I can do that. I can edit that in 
10 minutes tops and upload it, do a voiceover, boom, go about my day. Here is YouTube takes me a couple hours to edit and I just felt like I wasn't getting the reward from the sacrifice. It was taking time for my family, couldn't find the work balance, the work home balance, you know, social media balance. So um, I stopped it and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna go back. Then a hurricane happened, you know, had to move out, house got destroyed. It was just a whole lot. And then I was like, I'm coming back. Then I didn't come back. So I'm just happy that I'm finally back and I'm growing, but I think it's cause literally, you know, um, I, I have a different audience now and I am so in love with the audience that I have now because y'all are here for the vlog. Y'all are here for anything that I put up and that just means the world to me that I feel like I am finally like, consistency is paying off for me. So I'm so excited about that. Now, on to my morning routine. I use the Good Molecules Bar Soap. I've been using this for, this is my second one I brought, but they last a very long time. And I love the way it suds up. Let me show y'all real quick. You just wash it, turn the water on, and you kind of like, you know, like you're washing your hands. Use the bar soap, and it suds up like so good. And I just apply it to my face, straight to my face. And I love the way it feels. I love how it cleanses it. It doesn't strip my, uh, my hair. It doesn't strip my um, face. My face still feels moisturized but clean once it's all said and done. And I always wash around my lashes. I don't ever get them wet unless I'm like shampooing them, which I probably do that maybe once a week if I wear eyeshadow. And today gonna be a no makeup makeup day, so. This is hot. This is how I wash my face. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I need to go to work. Then I take a towel and I just go like this to remove it. I don't splash my face. Oh, this pimple kind of hurts, but I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate when my face breaks out. Eyes like that. And boom, I'm done with my face washing part. Then I'll brush my teeth. I'll have all my hygiene stuff listed down below, like my face wash, greens, uh, even my lashes, because this makes my this makes my life so much easier on days like today when I'm not doing no makeup. I like using this toothpaste. This is a whitening toothpaste. Um, I am going to do a, my whitening routine, maintenance routine, um, TikTok in a little bit. I think Malia's up. Hey, ah! You scared me! I didn't even see you walk past me. Good morning. What you doing? I'm trying to brush my teeth. You try to brush your teeth? Come on, tell everybody hey. Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm happy you up. How you slept? Good. Good. Get... Mm, I love you. You want to brush your teeth for mommy? Yes, ma'am. You're so pretty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna brush my teeth. I do my tongue scraper. I have this metal metal one that I liked, and I've got a lot of order orders of these on my Amazon storefront. Um, this was like my top seller in maybe January or February. A lot of y'all ordered this, and I've been having this for a while. And I scrape my tongue, then I rinse it off, I scrape it again, rinse it off, and I put it back in my case. And I've been having it for a while. I'm not gonna do it because it's probably, I mean, I, I got it all off now, but whenever you do that first scrub, you'll see all of the stuff. Most of the time, mine is green because of the greens that I take, but this helps with, of course, bad breath. It helps with even your taste buds. Like, one of the claims it says is that it helps you taste food better because it cleanses your palate. Uh, I don't know, I eat, I still eat really good. Malia, don't let Zoe out. So now my face had a little bit of time to dry. It's not like tight dry, but it's kind of dry down. I'm gonna go in with this nice cinema brightening brightening toner. I use this every morning. This is my second bottle of this. And sometimes I do it with my, my hands, but I don't really like it on my hands. So I'll just put a good little hefty part to soak my cotton pad and just rub it in my face. And then I just kind of let that sit. Um, by this time, I'm like going to get my clothes do something or I'll use like a little fan and I'll, my hands really sometimes <laughs> and do that. But you want to just put this toner all over your face. Let it dry down before you go in with your skincare stuff. Now while that dries, I got this because I saw a vlog by um, Gina. 
Gina, I forgot her name. My coworker told me about her, but she was saying that like this works so good. It helps with her dark circles. This little bottle was $89 though. So I was like, I'm gonna try it out. See if I like it. I wasn't expecting to like it. I was hoping to return it back off of Amazon because I brought it from Amazon. But I've been using it for like two weeks and I, I do see a difference in my um, dark circles in my eyes. But not enough to be like, look before and look after, you know. But I do see that it kind of lightens some of my dark circles under my eyes. But I try to use it twice a day most times. I definitely use it once a day, but it don't always be twice a day. Um, but this is like the eye cream that I've been um, using. It's called Clarence Total Eye Lift. But, I mean, I'm not going to tell you how to go buy it yet because it's $100. Like, I want to make sure that it, like, works. I do see a difference, but I'm not sold just yet. So, give me about a month and ask me about this later but i uh, use this as my eye cream um but if you guys want to bite the bullet and go ahead and buy it i'll have a link down down below you know always got y'all there and my favorite lip balm summer fridays i put this on my lips i have it in like four different four different uh colors but that i mean the colors aren't they're, they're sheer there's not like a huge huge difference but I like the way it feels on my lips. Next is my serums. None of my face can kind of dry down a bit. Um, I use these every single day. I use the Daily Brightening Serum. And I literally sometimes just put one drop here and let it drop. But I'm going to... I've been trying to do a little differently. Putting some, you know, all over so it can be distributed evenly. And then I go in with either my Niacinamide Serum... Either this one or my hyaluronic acid one. I rotate these two because these are both moisturizing. Um, these are both moisturizing serums and just kind of replenishes the moisture back in your face. But I mean, you can see I use the hyaluronic one a little bit more than a niacinamide. So I'm using niacinamide today just to show a little bit more love. But I just literally put them side by side and... These are the serums. It gives my like skin a glowy look. And I do see a difference in my skin. And I have oily skin for those people who wonder. I have, I have very oily skin. And honestly, on the days that I don't wear makeup, this just kind of gives me a glow from within. And when I even when I wear it underneath my makeup, it doesn't make me oilier. That's what I'd be worried about. Some of these like sunscreens and stuff make my skin so oily. And I just... I just like my makeup doesn't last as long when I do that. So when I first apply it, of course, it gives glazed donut look. But as it's like melts into your skin, it'll just give kind of a glow from within. And so from here, all I'm going to do is just do some eyebrows, concealer. I'm going to conceal this and conceal that and go to work. I like putting my hair in a low ponytail while I'm doing my makeup because it kind of stretches my hair from being in a pineapple. And all I gotta do is take it out and just shake it and go. So let's do a little no makeup makeup look, shall we? Hey girl, hey! Happy Thursday! I am just got off of work. 
Hence, I still have my dressy earrings on with um, my little jogger, wrinkled jogger outfit. I'm going, we are going to go and watch Akaya run. Let me get my tripod together. Akaya run today. She has a track meet this afternoon. So we're going to go watch her run in a little bit. Mike is still at work. He's about to get off in a minute. But I want to show you guys a Sam's haul that I got from Sam's. Let's do this box first. Well, there we go. It's a box in a box. I think it's just some chips. chips variety variety count chips it's in a different box usually it's in like the a more compounded box but i'm gonna set this aside because i make them eat everything that's in there first before they get to open this so we have i think some fritos left to kind of nobody want to eat <laughs> so i'll put these to the side so i use these forks i buy the forks and the spoons and these last us a while um and then i keep them in this cabinet here and I keep them inside here. So as they use them, we just refill that. And I keep the the big one in the laundry room. Free up on some more Sunny D. I got some comments in my, I got some comments about how this is high fructose corn syrup and how you shouldn't be giving your kids that. And y'all, as much as I would love to be healthy and be mindful and read labels, like, I wish I would, but I don't. So I buy whatever's on sale and whatever my kids like. And I just pray God's grace over us that none of us get sick or, you know, all those things. What's in this box? Box number three. More chips? Oh yeah, I buy these for myself. This is my box. However, somehow the kids still get their hands on it. My favorite chips of all time. And I'm not even a snacker. I don't really snack that much. But my husband, as y'all know, well, say my husband. Mike is a huge snacker and all these kids is a snacker. But I'm not a snacker. I gotta be in the mood for snack. These are my all-time favorite chips. Which is cheese puffs. Cheetos cheese puffs. Love these. Love, 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 love cheese puffs. So I got a whole box of that just for me not it's not just for me y'all but I got it because I because this is what I eat and then we have an Amazon package would it not be an Adrian MG video without an Amazon oh uh, so I posted about this on my stories uh Monday Tuesday whatever day it was maybe maybe Wednesday because yeah it was yesterday oh wow this was yesterday I didn't I didn't vlog yesterday and they had like a deal. Well, this shirt is normally, I don't know, $20? And it was on sale for $10. So I posted the link on my Facebook stories and told everybody who wanted to get it could go ahead and get it. But I like it because it kind of gives like the 90s retro like look. I can I can see myself styling this for church. Um, I can see myself styling this. Actually, I might wear this Sunday to church. As a matter of fact, I have a leather skirt that I might wear this with. Hmm, got a little outfit in my head already because it's actually supposed to be cold. It's hot right now, but it's supposed to be cold. I'm gonna put all of these boxes up and get ready to head to the track meet. So my oldest daughter surprised us. She came in town. She lives in Houston with her mom. So, um, hey, Mila. Hey, y'all. I, I was doing my homework, so I did good. Yes, she did good. Mom, what? what we don't do the reading books anymore on a, oh you uh, want to read to them yeah okay well how about we go, um let's go finish your homework first okay let's get your homework done real quick like the box. i want you guys well, to get her reaction there. when she walks through the door so she's gonna come surprise mala and malia yeah. um they're gonna be so excited i always talk to her on the phone and facetime her but i haven't seen her in person since like last march so here we go <laughs> Oh, 
had to track me today. And I just got home. And it's Saturday. Happy Saturday. Um, I had to go and get an order this morning from Ulta because I ordered the perfume that I posted this on my stories, on my Instagram stories, my Facebook stories. I try to like keep you guys in a loop on what's going on for like the 21 day Ulta sale. But I got this perfume and this is the Lancome Levy something. It was 50% off yesterday only. Every sale is only one day only. Today was the conceal the Fenty Concealers, which I ordered and I've ordered four of those. Two and two different shades, the Beauty Blender. They have a moisturizer that's on sale. I used to love it, but I just didn't. My skincare is good to where I don't really use a moisturizer, honestly. I just use the serums. Um, and I had to go pick up my, I had to go pick up my hair color. It's not a hair color. It's a, like, semi-permanent color that I put on my hair to revive my hair. I washed my hair last night. It was still kind of wet this morning, so I just put this little beanie on it. Today is Saturday, so that means we have our youth event tonight at church. Mama Malia, come get y'all stuff picked up like I told you. This baby doll's out of here. We're gonna go to the youth event tonight. I'm about to work on editing this vlog so it can be up by tomorrow. And that's gonna be our Saturday. Malia, Malia, we got her hair done today. Mala goes next week. She's booked until next month. So Malia's gonna, Mala's gonna go get her hair done. I, I gotta wash her hair actually because um, she wasn't able to get in to the booking. Malia, let me show you guys Malia's hair. And there go is Malia's hair. Turn around. Oh, you did a whole spin. Come here. Show them your hair. Turn around, Malia. Can you go slower? I took her to a new person I never took her to before, and she did such a good job. And she washed it. So she did a pre-shampoo, detangled it, shampooed it. Okay, you can stop. <laughs> it's the pose for me. <laughs> she did a pre-shampoo. Um, yeah, pre-shampoo to detangle her hair. Then she shampooed her hair, detangled it again, did a conditioner, then a steamer, a steam treatment, and then blow dried it, and then did the braids. And Malia did not cry. She was a big girl, so yeah. She looks so pretty. I'm hoping, hoping these braids will last for two and a half to three weeks, so we'll see. And then she goes, she has a appointment at the end of next month to go. Actually, both of them, I rescheduled both of them because she did such a good job. Um, so yeah. Ow! It's about my foot. Okay, let me go get this video edited, otherwise it won't be up for tomorrow. So, we're gonna do that now. Bye! Bye!